morning followers time for triple d daily dose of me hi today's topic is going to be getting the first steps the first steps of your new life and i guess taking it and i always say like the first day i walked into weight watchers was a very humbling day when you walk in there extremely heavy and by yourself and that's not the easiest thing in the world to walk somewhere where you know you're alone it's always if you have a buddy to go with i do suggest that would probably be nice uh, that's this week's topic at ww it's grab a buddy grab a workout buddy grab a weight watcher buddy but it's just easier when you have someone that drags you there because sometimes you feel like quitting and if somebody's with you they're not gonna let you quit but making the first steps it's as a person who was extremely overweight, I've, like I've said, I've lost 90 pounds and I still have 20 more to go. So yeah, I will be hitting the 100 pound mark in a probably, hopefully, a couple of months. Which I have, I think, eight pounds to that. But yes, yeah, so you know, I, I was not, you know, just going in there to lose 15 or 20 pounds. And I think we lie to ourselves and say, I'm not that bad, I'm not that big. You know, I don't eat that bad. You know, maybe I go over a little. And I think the, the, the turning point for me was admitting that I had a, a food problem. Admitting that I ate too much. You know, I never thought I did. I guess growing up in an Italian house, you were never told that that was too much. You just took what you wanted. And I guess the more you eat, the more you need to eat. So, and it took me a long time to realize that, hey, I think I eat too much because I, I mean, I still leave the table. I don't leave ever leave the table where I'm saying, oh, I'm so full. My stomach hurts. I never feel full. I always feel like I could go for more. But my mind says, Denise, you've had enough because you've had your protein. You've had your carbs. You've had your veg. You know, I've had a very satisfying dinner. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll ever not want to go back for seconds. I still do, so yeah, that's it's still real. The struggle is still real. So even though you might say, oh yeah, you've lost the weight now, I, I still struggle every meal. I struggle with like this, <laughs> like this morning I had a pancake, a Kodiak cake, and two egg bites. Now the Kodiak cake was four points, the egg bites were zero. I did a third a cup of the almond poppy seed. That's my new favorite flavor. And it's six points if you do a half a cup. So I did a third a cup for four points. And I did a little uh, couple of butter sprays. I can't believe it's not butter spray and some sugar-free syrup. So uh, could I have had another pancake? Absolutely. You know, I could have went for more, but I knew that that was within my points for breakfast. I don't like to have more than five, possibly six points of breakfast. I try to keep it, below, I mean, below five would be my ideal breakfast. I usually do a two ingredient dough bagel for three, an egg for zero, and avocado for one as my normal breakfast. But I'm trying to, I was trying to cut back on eggs today. Yeah, I had egg bites. That didn't work. I went, oh, what? Well, you know, that's another topic. But I definitely, I mean, I was satisfied. I mean, my stomach was satisfied, but I could have, yeah, I would have wanted another pancake. But you know what? I think if I would have had that second pancake, I think I would have then felt like I had too much. So, you know, I'm trying to convince my, I don't know, my brain is trying to convince my stomach that it's had enough. You know, I am a work in progress. You know, I've only, I only have... I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't even, I, I'm just, I'm trying. <laughs> and I am still in the struggle bus, just so you know. And lunch today will be a, I made this interesting vegetable medley. It was kind of, I had these turnips that uh, M. Kid gave me. And uh, they're like, if you ever had turnips, they're kind of a cross between a, a potato and a cabbage, I think, which is very weird to combine. But, but it's a texture of a, of a soft potato so it's really or like a, maybe a tissue of an eggplant a little bit firmer so i peeled them and diced them really, really fine like almost like i tried to rice them so maybe like a um turnip rice so i threw that and i had onions and bell peppers and what else did i put in there corn because corn is zero i put that in there i put some cilantro that m kid gave me and i put what else did i put in there oh chickpeas 
has a can of chickpeas. Why? Because there's zero. So, I mean, this thing was, this plate, I mean, I had about three turnips in there that I diced real fine. Garlic. So it was really, and then I threw some, um, my new favorite spice, the smoked paprika on top. So it was a huge, huge pan of, uh, I don't know what I call it. I guess I called it a turnip rice. <laughs> but I threw it on my plate with, I'd stuffed a chicken breast right before, and I only had half. I could have had the whole thing because it was almost zero. I made a pocket of the chicken and I cooked, uh, I did throw broccoli in there, really too. I did some broccoli, peppers, onions, and a baby bell uh, cheese wedge, and a tablespoon, yes I measured, of whipped cream cheese. So a tablespoon I think was only one or two points, I don't remember. I only wanted one. I only needed one because of having the wedge. And the wedge is one, so I counted the whole stuffing as three. I mean, and the chicken breast, and it was just beautiful, and it was delicious. I stuffed it in there, there's carrots in there, and and roasted in the oven. It was it was quite good. My husband was duly impressed. And so I only had half of that because it was it, it was big. So I had the other half of that with my my turnip rice and that was good. And stuff like that will fill me because but it again it only lasts for maybe like you know an hour, hour and a half and you're coming like up and get the munchies again. But you know, I've learned not to eat after dinner because I had a very bad um bout with reflux. So that was probably 20 years ago that I started. So I stopped eating after dinner. So I, like, again, it's, it's what you get used to. I got used to not eating. So very rarely do I want to munch because I, I just, I just don't. And I have, uh, FYI, I have not suffered with reflux in quite a long time. And I'm sleeping flat again. And it's amazing when you, when you actually get, you don't attribute anything to your weight. Because doctors like everything on weight. And you'd be like, oh, of course, he blames it on my weight because the first thing they see, and they'll blame everything on your weight. And truly, 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 it was my weight. And I know that now because I don't have that much weight in my front anymore and in my chest. So my reflux is gone. My sleep apnea is improved 90%. He wants to take me off the machine. Why? Because I was too heavy. Again, did I admit that? No. I said, oh, I probably have sleep apnea because my parents had sleep apnea. And it was in my family. And that's why I have sleep apnea. Well, that's partially true. And we're not ruling that out yet. But at this point, the machine isn't giving me what it was giving me when I was seven, uh, 92 pounds heavier. So what is that telling you? Hmm. Yeah. I guess, you know, it's it's so hard. It's, it's one of the things I think that's that's where I come right now is admitting that yes my weight caused a lot of problems it's so hard to say it's so hard to say but you know I think once I said it out loud it it kind of gave me renewed focus in getting the rest of the weight off because I, I you know, I'm getting older I'm 52 years old I don't want my husband having to help me because I'm heavy I don't want him having to do this because I'm heavy you know, maybe if I can't do it because I just can't do it, there's a, that's one thing. But because you're just overweight, I don't want to be a burden, you know, because I have a weight problem. Well, maybe she pulled herself away from the table. You know, everybody's thinking that. It's, 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 it's the truth. If I just shut my mouth and not eat half of what I ate, I wouldn't be in this predicament. But it's hard to say that. It's hard when you're in it, you just don't see it. But, you know, once you take a step back and look at, you know, the changes that you've made and how you feel, you're like, yeah, my weight was doing harm to me. My sleep apnea doctor told me, it, based on my test back, that was probably about four, four and a half years ago now, that he said, you know, you would have been dead in six months if you didn't come in here and get this machine. And I think about that and I'm like, wow. Because your people die all the time in their 50s. Oh my God, heart attack. And a lot of it is because of, of the sleep apnea. It, it it taxes your heart. And you just don't, because you don't feel it. I never felt it. I never felt myself wake up. I never felt myself jump. I never felt any of that. I never felt myself snore. I, mean, I just knew I felt like crap when I got up, but I never knew why. And my husband would say like, oh my God, you, you were jumping all night. You kicked me, you did this, you did that. You make all this noise. I didn't hear you breathing. And you, the person, don't feel that. You think, that, like, really? Because I don't, you know, you felt like you were sleeping because you didn't feel like you were awake. 
yet based on my test, I was hardly even sleeping. It's, it's, I don't know how I survived. I really don't. By the grace of God that I'm here. Because I have no idea, based on that results, how I'm even alive. It's, it's you know, it's, to me, it's like, I feel like I'm, I'm on a second life. You know, and I think that's what sparked my journey. Because that's when I originally started this 90 pounds, was back right after that. I did have a little bit of a break, like we all do, but you know, I feel now that it's my life's at stake, and if I don't keep that weight off, I want to go back to where I was, and I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to do that. I, I want to be around. I, I want to see what my kids do. I, I want to see what life has in store for me. I want to retire. I want to travel. I want to do all those things that some people don't get to do because their weight has held them back. I don't want my weight to hold me back. That is a heck of a thing to hold you back, is your weight. Finances are one thing, but because I ate too much, I can't go on a trip. I can't go on a plane because I'm too big. I can't walk and, and uh, sightsee because I'm too big. I don't want that to be the reason. That That is like, I don't want to, I want to be the reason is finances is a better reason than, oh, because I couldn't put myself away from the dinner table, you know? And I've learned, you no, know, I still eat. I still eat really good stuff. I mean, I'm just not going back for seconds. I mean, I eat desserts a lot. I don't deny myself pretty much anything because if I do, then I'm going to make this like, ooh, I'm going to explode. So like, yeah, I might not have that piece of cake. I might have a couple bites of that piece of cake, but you know what? I'm still having some of that cake. I'm not saying, saying I can't have that and I can't have this. I, tr I taste everything. I give everything to Steve. He finishes it. So that's always a, a good trick. But I, I, that is how I do my journey and everybody does their journey differently I always say you do you boo because we're all different and we all react differently but I have to I eat all my points every day because why because I'm always going to want to eat so 23 points is not a lot of food in reality so yeah I eat all my points most of my weeklies I do eat on a special occasion where I use it for my like my olive oil my butters, like my extras that I don't want to count in my regular count. I count in my weekly count because that's the bonus items. And maybe my desserts. Though I try to find, and there's a lot of hacks out there for some really good stuff. I mean, if you do that sugar-free brownie mix or the sugar-free cake mix with the pumpkin, it's awesome. And it's like two or three points. And you know what? It's so worth it. Um, so we're doing a taste test on our Facebook group for the Smart Baking Company. I'm interested to see how their Smart Cakes are. They're one point each, they look like a cupcake. I'm interested to try those. So, you know, there's stuff out there and, and finding, I guess, go on the web and find, go go find Smart Points Steve on Instagram. She makes amazing things. She has lost 130, 140 pounds on WW and she's made some amazing, amazing desserts. So here I am at work. I hope you enjoyed this topic as I enjoyed giving it. I'll see you on the flip side. Remember, Hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment below, hit the bell if you want to get me know when I'm uploading. Take care, guys.